Greetings, Imperial Brothers, and welcome back. So, a lot of you guys in the comments had said that this uh, dungeon, this Dwemer Ruin, is... Ooh, nice find. A bit of a troll of a dungeon. Not a troll in the dungeon, but a troll of a dungeon. So I don't feel as bad in um, stumbling around and not finding this cube. You guys said it was towards the beginning, next to the boss or whatever. The boss raider or marauder, whatever you want to call him. So I'm going to go try and find him. I'll just backtrack, I guess, right? I kind of want to... I still want to check some of these quarter kegs. Ooh, that's what I'm talking about. Exactly. Okay, cool. I'll be on my way then. Boss Credo. I'm gonna assume Boss was the boss. Ooh. He's got some good loot. Nothing like bargain fire resistance. He's got a lot of bargain spells. Scroll of Ondusi's Unhinging. Okay. Lots of Dwemer mugs. He's a heavy drinker. Where he just carries around lots of mugs. Nothing wrong with that. Alright. The coins are what I'm all about. The coins are very expensive. Oh, the, oh! Got it! Heck yeah! But yeah, it's really just kind of sitting there. You wouldn't think anything of it. Cool! Alright! I'll go drop this off with my man. Alright, I'm supposed to, I think I'm supposed to... Yeah. I found the Dwemer puzzle box asshat antelope told me to find. And I will take it to him, and in return, he'll tell me what I need to know about the Nerevarine secret cult and the Six House secret cult. Okay, cool. I don't really know... I know this is, like, central to... This cult is central to the main quest and the plot of the main quest. And all I really know... I know that we're like a reincarnation of the Nevervarine, the Nerve Cream, whatever it's called. But that's all I really know so far. So have you done that little favor? Yes, I did the little favor. Little favor. Oh, I guess just do a puzzle box. Okay. The little cube I'm looking for is about the size of a fit. No, yes, I have it. Little favor. Favor. Okay. I was looking for a little favor. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Let me take this Dwemer puzzle box. I feel like he just does this as a hobby. He likes, you know, it's like this benign, kind of pointless thing. He just likes to solve these Rubik's Cubes. While the fate of the world is is at stake. It's not very, uh... Responsible of asshat here. But I guess that's what they call him, asshat. Okay. Um, I'll tell you what Caius will want to know about the Sixth House. And about the Nerevarine. I'm never gonna say that right. By the way, the inscriptions on the box seem to be the directions for a setting, directions for setting a Dwemer key to open a specific lock. If you're interested, after you've delivered your report to Caius, come back and maybe I'll have a key you can take back to Arkingthand. Okay. Yeah. I would like some easy loot. Sounds like what it's going to be. Just easy loot. All right. Also, speaking of easy loot, I'm going to check the chest, see if it's replenished. I don't think I ever used this chest, so yeah. It should Okay, should you never mind. I will be Forget happy it. To I don't think you are. All you have is a Colovian fur helmet. You're supposed to, when I mean, you sit next to the chest all day, I'd assume you're the one to replenish it. But that's fine. I feel like I'll find better stuff in these crates. Maybe not even that. That's okay. Guys! I'm on my way. I should sell all my rubies and ebonies and Dwemer coins, though, before I dip Balmora. I'll have to remember to do that. All right, Caius. I got some... Wait! What am I even telling him? I thought I was supposed to... Get... Did I jump the gun? Yeah, he is. Did I forget to actually get the information from him? 
I'm confused as what I'm supposed to do. I think I did. You're an illiterate Ashlander. All right, I think I forgot to <laughs> actually get the information I needed from our boy at the Fighters Guild. Let me go back, whoops. Yeah, I think it is left assuming he was gonna telepathically give Caius the information he needs. Who's the asshat now? All right, dude, tell me what you know. I need to know about the Nerevarine. The Ashlanders believe a reborn Nerevar, which I don't know what that is, will unite the Dunmer against the Outlander invaders and restore the ancient dark elven nation. Nerevar, oh, okay, now we know. Or we're gonna find out. It's a legendary hero and saint of the temple, but the temple denies the prophecy and persecutes heretics who believe in the Nerevarine. It sounds a lot like Talos. At least the situation that Talos is in in Skyrim. Tell Caius that Sharn Grab Muzgob, Muzgob, come on, it would be a better person to ask about the native faiths and superstitions. Okay. What about the sixth house? House Dagoth is the sixth house, the lost sixth house. In the first age, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the war of the first council and was destroyed for their treason. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll also give you some notes to give to Caius and recommend some six house references he should read. Oh boy. I'm going book shopping for Caius now. Here's a list of cheap books. All of them will tell you something about the Six House and how it ended. The War of the First Council, Saint Nerevar, Nerevar Moon and Star, and the Real Nerevar. Try the bookseller Dorisa Darvel over in the Commercial District. She'll have at least some of the titles. Okay. Where's this Gro Gobula Burzog guy? Can I ask about him? This orcish dude? I guess not. Alright, that's fine. Well, I'll go to Caius now. Yeah, I was wounded getting your Rubik's Cube. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, wait. Is he ready to give me the key or the information to obtain the loot? Yes, I know what it is. Oh, okay, so I have to talk to Caius first and then come back. That's okay. Ah, welcome. What may I do for you? No, no, it's what I can do for you. I'm gonna talk to you about. There's so much stuff I can talk to you about. A trusted informant says there are a secret cult associated with some strange events recently, and more important, my informant thinks these recent disturbances are related in some way to the Nerevarine prophecies. Wait, I want to tell you about... How can I tell you about the stuff this guy told me? Disturbing dreams. You're worrying me, young man. You're not going loopy on me, are you? A word of advice. In Morrowind, if you have disturbing dreams... I don't, though. Are you actually supposed to, like, go to sleep and then have a bad dream, like, in-game? If you have disturbing dreams, the temple says you are crazy and they want to lock you up. If you have disturbing dreams and think they mean something, that the temple thinks you're a prophet or witch and they want to lock you up. So take my advice and keep a lid on it. Wow, that's eerie. I want to know more about the disturbing dreams. Okay, but for real, how do I, how do I tell you about the... I don't know. How to tell you. Yo, seriously? Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to, yeah. Here's the notes. Orders? Ah, okay. These notes are from Asshat? Excellent. I trust he didn't work you too hard for them. I'll look them over in more detail later, but now I have some new orders for you. Asset's notes have been removed. Your journal has been updated. Okay, what are your new orders? I've glanced at Asset's notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the Nervarine cult. Hop on over to the Balmora Majors Guild. Easy peasy. 
is right next to the Balmora Fighters Guild. I know where it is. I'm an old pro with this town. Get Sharn Musgob to tell you what she thinks about the Nerevarine. She'll have some silly errand for you. I like how he knows. He just knows. Um, actually, this is like an errand on top of an errand. This is a new errandception. I didn't think it could get this bad, but, you know. Do what she asks and report back when she's given you the information. All right. Easy enough. I hope Musgob doesn't have anything to... involved for me honestly i'd rather like a tough fight than like a far away location the long locations are like you know, the long travel to the location is that's what i'm kind of i prefer not i've been doing a lot of that lately musgob dude that sounds like a it sounds like a fake put down Enwa and musgob you're a dirty musgob Get out of my sight. And then after I talk to Muzgob, I gotta remember to stop by Asshat again. A lot about you, Outlander. Go ahead. Good, good. And get the puzzle box loot key, whatever the hell I'm looking for. Okay. I'm looking for an orc. You are not an orc. Are you an orc? You are not. Any Jeez, time now. Louise. The high elves in this game are really scary. Rannis, Sothrius. Galbadir. Ooh, I forgot I can just take all the... All right, I'm listening. I don't, oh, whoa! What? What are you? Step right up, young man, and look over my collection of scrolls. How about the flashy and cheap Taldum Scorcher to burn your foes? That almost rhymes. Or Undusi's Unhinging to open stuck chests and doors. If you're going somewhere dangerous. Okay. You have a weird voice I haven't heard yet. I'm not opposed to it. It's just kind of like jarring when you think you've heard all the voices the game has to offer. Where is this? What am I missing? What am I? What? Stop! Relax. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Are there like a living quarters that I feel like I'm missing? Uh oh. Tend your wounds. Yeah. Thanks. Ah, there we are. No. No interruptions. How many times? Oh, you're one of Caius's associates. That is a different matter. Caius and I have a very satisfactory arrangement. And I'm sure we can come to sort of an agreement if you will complete a little errand for me. What's the errand? The errand, then, is very simple. I need the skull of Levul Andrano. You'll find it in the Andrano ancestral tomb. Makes sense. But take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some peculiar primitive prejudices. Peculiar primitive prejudices against necromancy. And take... Wait! Is she, like, into necromancy? I thought that was frowned upon in the Mages Guild. Maybe not yet. Or maybe she's just a weirdo. And take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. I <laughs> get a grave objection. Okay. Um, where is this place? I don't really care. I just want to figure out what we're supposed to do. The tomb is south of Pelagiad. Just off the road. Just before you reach the fork. Where the road goes southwest towards Sedanine and southeast to Vivic, you may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Here, take this old short sword. Oh, thank you. She's actually being helpful. And maybe these old scrolls will come in handy. Everything's old. Okay. Um. All right. They're really not, actually. <laughs> all right. I might as well go next door. And talk to our good friend Asshat. See if he's got the deets on the cube. And maybe I can stop over at Arkansand Land, whatever it's called, and get me some loot while we're at it. But first, I gotta offload some of the stuff at a shop. I'll just sell 
some of my encumbrances before I leave Greetings town. To you. A pleasure to meet you. You didn't just meet me. We've been talking all day. Yeah, I know. You told me to come back. The disappearance of the dwarves. It sounds like a book. And this is a book of text. Okay, um... I don't care. I want the... Oh, yes. Oh, he forgot. Okay. Here's a Dwemer key made according to the instructions I found on the puzzle box you brought to me. I... Oh, thank you. Thank you, man. That's like, that's really nice. You made the key just for me. I have no idea what it's good for, but if you take it back to Arkanthan, maybe you'll find the lock it opens. Sweet. Thank you, dude. It's actually really nice. He's not an asshat after all. Don't judge people by their name, guys. I don't know why I'm telling you not to do that. I was the only one doing that. But you know. Whoa. Laundress Bilal. I am a sleeper, one among thousands. I bring you a message. Dagoth Ur calls you, young man, and you cannot die, your lord. The sixth house is risen, and Dagoth is its glory. He is the lord and father of the mountain. He sleeps. Okay, just to be clear, I'm not talking to anyone. I don't think I'm talking to anyone. I was just walking. I was actually, I was walking to Caius's house to drop off some crap so I didn't have to lug everything around, and this just popped up. He is the Lord and Father of the Mountain. He sleeps, but when he wakes, he shall rise from our dreams, shall sweep our land clean of the Enwa. Why have you denied him? As Lord Dagoth has said, all shall greet him as flesh or as dust. The sixth house, the sleeping house, house Dagoth, the house of Lord Dagoth. The true house, the wife. <laughs> I sound like, I'm, like a kid reading from a book in English class, and I couldn't care less. The true house... The one house to welcome all true Dunmer and drive the Enwa from our land. Rejoice and join us. Come to Red Mountain and prepare the way for his coming. A terror. Wait. <laughs> Am I asking this... This ghostly, non-physical being about Solstheim? And they're saying, ah, terrible place I've heard. No one... Oh no, it's this guy. He just came up behind me. Who are you? I thought it was just... I couldn't see him at all. I was walking the other direction and he just like... I guess started talking to me from behind me. I thought it was just... Like a voice in my head or something. Beneath Red Mountain, Lord Dagoth sleeps. But when he wakes, we all shall rise. And the dust will blow away. Creepy. What a creepy dude. Okay, that was... Genuinely a little unnerving. To say the least. Do I know you? It should be around here somewhere. This is like the old, the old country when we first started. That should be it. It should be it right there. All right. What am I looking for again? Um. I'm looking for the dude's skull, right? Skull of Mr. Man. Sure, it should be easy to find. But I feel like, on the other hand, there should be a lot of skulls hanging around an ancestral tomb. So, maybe I take it back. There's already a... What the heck is this? Oh. Dead body. Makes sense. That sure is what it is. Alright. What is this old sword she gave me? Was it this thing? No, it wasn't that. I should have paid more attention. Was it this? Or was it... I don't know. This I got from the Dark Brotherhood leader guy. Il Kurok looks... Diff I don't remember. Oh, but it's like a spear. It sounds magical. Wait, I have to donate? This is an ancestral tomb. Who's taking the gold <laughs> this isn't like a church where they collect donations why do I have to give you five gold oh, forget it fell off I don't like you anyway I don't know who you are oh scary okay not so scary ectoplasm hey our first ectoplasm it's kind of a it's an important moment I enjoy the ectoplasm it's a weird thing to say I'm switching to my trusty blade 
for the corporeal beings. Do your worst. Come on. Come on. Oh, come on, man. Let's not prolong the inevitable. Come on. Thank you. What's this? Violet Copperness. You don't know anything about any of these things? Ooh. 100 gold. That's what I'm talking about. All right. I'm going to re-equip the spear because it seemed to do good with the uh, the ghosties. Got it. Looks like it's hurting me. All the glowiness. Ah! You are not ghosties. Okay. Switching back. <laughs> Hello! Crippled skeleton. I feel bad now. I'm sorry, dude. Skeleton what? Archer. And he never got a chance to use the bow. There's a skull right there, but that's not the skull, is it? What is this? Chokeweed. Nordic battle axe. It's kind of cool. I got this not ash in the urns, just straight up like crushed bone meal. Or I, I don't understand. It's disgusting. Okay. Descending farther into the tomb. What is this? Okay, I'm gonna leave you in there as I tend to this dashing young gentleman. Another crippled skeleton. That makes me feel so guilty. I mean, I guess they are just skeletons, so they should all be crippled. Seeing as their lack thereof muscle and so forth. Okay, what is this? Homies of Blessed Almalexia. Okay, I'm going to take that. Why not? This is creepy. They hold little services in here. Okay. Okay, who are you? What are you? I don't like that you're phasing through the door. You look like a new entity I haven't encountered before. Actually, I'm going to do a new save. Just to be sure. Alright, I feel like I can never tell which enemies are going to be so potent and overpowered that I'm just immediately facing death. And then which ones just look like a... This is... Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, that was nothing. He looks terrifying. He looked like he was going to mess me up. But all flash and no fury, as they say. Hey, here we go. Dagger of Judgment. Very cool. Oh my gosh. Native God Julan Bone Mold Helm. Should I take it? I'm going to take it. Why not? It's got a long, fancy name. It must be important. I'm going to take the books. They're worth a lot. A lot of good loot in here. I'm liking it. Bone meal. Not so much. All right. Is that as deep as this place goes? I think it is. All right. Hey, that was easy. That was the skull I needed, right? <laughs> yeah, it has to be. It has to be. What are these noises? They're like getting louder. They're really loud here. Ghoul heart. What the hell? That's cool. Okay. The noises are really loud in here. Very creepy. Alright. I'm getting out of here. Um, what is this? Fancy wall. Yeah. I think I cleared this whole place out. All right, back to Muckgob. Well, did I go through here? I don't think I did. I want to explore a little bit. 
Have at the. Ow! Ow! What was that? He electrocuted me as he died? Okay, ow, stop. Oh no! He has electric arrows. Relax, dude. What was that? Yeah, spark arrow. It's kind of cool. I know I'm not an archer. I don't want to trigger anyone. I'm aware that I'm not an archer. But it's just, uh, I don't know. It's cool to think about. Is there any way down there? What is, oh, that's that. Okay. We've come full circle. Weird architecture in this place. I don't fully understand it. But that's okay. I feel like these, you know that Winchester mystery house that was built to like confuse evil ghosts and stuff. I feel like the ancestral tombs would have similar architecture where it's like nonsensical to regal live beings, but then it somehow makes sense to the dead and like demons and ghosts and stuff. Um, it's a little confused, but uh, our good. <laughs> Fresh game. Ah, I snapped you out of it with my mere presence. <laughs> but then she called me Fresh Game. I think Huel is a little confused, but that's all right, aren't we all? All right, Muck Gob. Yes, Outlander. You better be appreciative that I got your skull for you. And God, I hope it's the correct skull. It's gotta be. I searched the whole place. It wasn't that big of a place. All right, I got your skull, you creep. Again? Yeah, I got your skull. Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind, you creep. Thank you now, as I promised. Thank you now, as I promised. I'll answer your questions on the Nervian cult. Go ahead. Why don't you just tell me? I only have one question. It's called Nerevine Cult. I'm sorry, Nerevarine. I can't, I literally can't say this word. The Ashlander Cult believes the long dead hero Nerevar will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribes. According to legend, the prophesized Nerevarine will cast down the false gods of the Tribunal Temple, restore the traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all Outlanders from Morrowind. Wow. It's kind of racist both temple and empire outlaw the cult but it persists among the ashlanders who care little for imperial or temple law here take this copy of my notes on the topic for caius hey thank you all right cool that's all i needed sharon told me about the cult and gave me some notes to give to the spy master that's such a cool title i want to be a spy master now i should return and report and give him these what notes what is your business here? That's an interesting orc voice. There should be the the blades are so peripherally important to each Elder Scrolls plot. It would be cool. I guess there was like a cell phone game about the blades, right? But it would be cool to have like a straight up game where you like are a blade, you're a spy master, and you work directly under the emperor and that'd be so cool i love the blades i always whenever i created a character in, in oblivion as soon as i got to um S cloud ruler temple i almost said sky ruler temple cloud ruler temple temple can't speak today as soon as i got to that temple i would um immediately like do myself up uh, in the uh the what blades armor and kind of like pretend i was a blade when i was little and now still the blades are just, I don't know, they're so cool, man. They're kind of lame in Skyrim, but, like, the idea of them is cool. I want to be a spy master, like Caius here. Although, now that I'm looking at him, it's not that cool. Are you here to discuss your orders, young man? Yes, I've learned about... All right, I'm just going to click on orders again, because I assume that'll push things ahead here. And these are Sharn's notes on the Nervarine cult. Excellent. I'm promoting you to Blades Apprentice. Oh, cool. Working my way up. What do you know? I didn't even, I forgot I was like, I was a blade in this. That's cool. I'd like some time to think how this fits in with the Emperor's plans for you. 
So what is what are the Emperor's plans for me? So if you'd like to get in a little freelance adventuring, go ahead. But whenever you're ready, I'll have new orders for you. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. Yo, I thought we were I thought we were boys. I don't wanna I don't wanna get into a scuffle here with Caius. I forgot I forget if I can sleep in his bed or not. I don't want him to like beat me up because I'm sleeping in his bed. Um alright. Up to you guys, what should I do? I feel like I can continue ahead with uh, the main quest because I have done a fair bit, 20 episodes of freelance adventuring, so um, your guys' call. Should I do some maybe Mage's Guild? Because I know I had that in introductory Mage's Guild quest still to do that was given to me by someone here in Balmora. Or I could continue with the main quest, which is... I'm interested in it. I'm interested in untangling the mystery. So let me know. Um, and that's exactly what I'll do next time. Thank you to the patrons. Thank you to the subscribers. And I will see you next week. Take care.